Um, vehicle balance. Now, uh, I don't know. I wanted to ask you, Lemonade, about vehicle balance, what you thought of it. Uh, I see you running around vehicles quite a bit, but I'm not sure now. <laughs> um, <laughs> what, what, are you, what are your thoughts on, uh, on vehicle balance? Um... I'm probably the, the the wrong guy to ask, only because I, I just dislike them for the I'm fact sorry. that. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's okay. We could speak about it, but it's just I, for me. And it's funny because when I played in, in older Battlefield games, I, I enjoyed getting into vehicles. But now that I'm trying to focus on being an infantry player, I just feel like they're, I don't know, ball, ball busters or whatever, right? I mean, it's just... It, I see what you're saying. They just get in the way. I mean, you're trying to have a moment. You're trying to get a flank. You're trying to get in in, in with your team, and then you know this helicopter comes by or this tank comes by. So for for me personally, I mean, I, I've said before, take him out, but that's never going to happen. So I'll stick with Russia yeah. and, and tactical conquest, and and you y'all can have fun with vehicles. But yeah, that, they're just not my cup of tea. In balance wise, I mean. When I used to play Breakthrough heavily, I don't know. I mean, the, the helicopters were incredibly annoying. I mean, I know Ash and some of those guys are saying they're, you know, they're so easy to shoot down and all that. But, I mean, we tried. There's a couple times where me and Logic and the boys, we, we would try. I mean, get Rao out and try to get the Stingers out. And if, 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 the, if the pilot's not that competent, you could take him out. But at that point, one can argue, well, why would I even be focusing on him if he's not that good? Like it's only when the really good players get up there that you're like, well, damn it, I need to focus. Yeah, do it. something about it. Yeah. yeah, and then you can't because uh, I mean, at least for the little bird and in, in the stealth chopper, I mean, they are a pain in the butt. Yeah, uh, th- this is one of those topics that's I I almost don't want to go into it because like this this is a whole episode and a whole major headache and discussion on its own. I'll just <laughs> say that yeah, the yep. balance of, of vehicles like between. There should be a high skill ceiling for 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 vehicles, but it, not at the detriment of like completely being able to wipe out a team. Um, I'll, I'll say I'll I'll say that on the subject of breakthrough, breakthrough should have far fewer vehicles in on all of the maps than it currently does, and this has been a point since launch. Um, breakthrough should be a very infantry dominated game with extremely minimal vehicles. One tank and the as the aggressors against none, or one tank against one, or no tanks and maybe a helicopter against a helicopter. It should not be a complete infantry farm fest, especially because the game mode itself is predicated on the on the option of clustering entire teams for, again for one point, and you don't want a vehicle just to be able to destroy that. Yeah, yeah. Well, one of the biggest complaints right now is that uh, defenders don't get anything. Oh, we don't get that. any yeah, that vehicles. Too. That too. Yeah. What do you guys think on that? I yeah, think that's, that's it's horrible. That is yeah, just that's, that's just adding thing. into it. Yeah. Yeah. They have a weird obsession. I mean, e- even in Rush, it's not always the case in Rush. But uh, a good example is Caspian. When I play Caspian Rush in this game, uh, on the attacking, if I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, Gravity. I, I can't quite remember, but, but I know for a fact the attackers get a Condor and I think two tanks. Yeah. And defenders get like one tank, a condor, a condor, and two tanks on attacking on rush. I mean, it's just, it just doesn't make sense. I think they get three tanks against two tanks, but they get the condor. And the condor they get because the A10 warthog used to be there in its place in, in BF3, um, and that used to. But I mean, I guess theoretically, used to, the, you know the the defending team also used to get the the frogfoot. So there was an attack jet versus an attack jet on that map. Sure, but it, sure. On, on BF3 rush. It's the exact same problem. That was exactly the same problem that you're having in Breakthrough really? now. There's too many vehicles ah. for too few and too clustered a point. Yeah, it was like, why? And going back even further, Eureka Harbor, Bad Company 2 rush. That first point where the U.S. team gets three tanks against two <laughs> in that choke point, it's just a tank clusterfuck like you yeah. it should not be the way that russian it, it doesn't make sense it was made. so hard it was so hard that first objective is notoriously difficult uh to defend and to attack yeah. i mean it's because when you die like if you don't you know and truly, you like it really zombie, am... it's hard it's hard and truthfully okay. that was the only bad sector on an otherwise great rush map yeah mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. pretty much it just flowed from then on it's yeah. all that's why it's so notorious the first part uh and then everything else is just kind of you either you can't make it anymore or you kind of glide through the whole thing yeah. have a good experience and uh 
yeah, it happened to, uh, with with quite a bit. But it's so different from all the other Bad Company Two rushes. Um, you might have it depends on the team sometimes too. But I'm getting a little off topic. But yeah, I just wanted to point that out. I mean, I think it's just like they have this weird obsession with trying to embrace the chaos in every one of their game modes, and and I guess chaos is creating un- unbalanced situations in that case. But it's like. You have game modes for that. I don't. I don't. I don't think you, you need to add it to everything. There should be a, a game mode where you can just focus on infantry gameplay, and it where it doesn't feel like a cluster. Uh, if we could speak on stranded real quick, I mean, they added that in as like, oh, you know, people love CQC. I don't want another freaking like one, especially on breakthrough one objective per sector where everyone's <laughs> shoehorned, and it's it, and especially in a tight ship where there's very little flank routes. It just I don't know. I mean, yeah, I can play it a few times, but I, these people who want to play it twenty four seven, or I, I just I can't understand them. I mean, it's and just... one twenty eight players. Yeah, they want been... one twenty eight players on that. Like, how impossible would well, that I mean, be? I mean, we've had the streamers like decisive and EK on, but they they love it purely for the kill potential and the XP potential more than the map layout itself. Like, actually, play yeah, yeah actual yeah. gameplay. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, that's why a lot of people like. The, the current mode on Portal right now is the uh, uh, Rush XL, right? Which is completely not Battlefield, right? It's it's a copy from the Squid Squid G's, uh, you know, Rush Chaos mode. And uh, we talked about that, um, embracing Chaos modes mm-hmm. in, in 2042, if that's the right thing to do. Um, or, or really setting expectations or... You know, is this how Battlefield is supposed to be played? Yes. Yeah, and I don't mind having topics, vehicles sir. in Breakthrough and Rush. I mean, the, some of the really good Rush maps in Battle Bad Company too. If you like, if you were to have one or two transport top choppers as the attacker, just to get behind and just to move between the points, I think that's great. But in twenty forty two, your transport chopper comes with two really, really strong miniguns. It's really tanky, and it has that stupid fifty cal, fifty fifty millimeter gun that can destroy yeah. things and. It's and you can get two of those and that. Oh God, no! You know when yeah, you, it's really just a, like how many. Yeah, I don't really, mind it, but when you get you know. two of those and a tank or two or three, and this this is where the vehicle numbers start be, start to become unwieldy because then you get to a point where it's like, okay, well we know we have to deal with this transport, so let's all get ready to deal with this transport, and then four tanks roll up, right? And it's like, no, you can't just deal with everything, especially if your team doesn't have any tanks. It's it that's yeah that's that's the biggest problem with breakthrough vehicles and balance. And then yeah. yeah, I spoke to Ash about this, and I think it was on Danger Cow's like post. This was many months back. <clears throat> I think I, I, like another issue with twenty forty two on top of just the imbalance in, in certain game modes is 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 the maps because in other games like me going back to BF five now, I mean there's vehicles. I just the way the maps are structured, the the cover where the objectives are. It's much easier to avoid them if if I need to. Yes. In twenty forty two, and a lot of these maps, especially the non reworked ones, it's just it's, it feel you feel like a sitting duck. Hundred percent. A lot. Agreed. That's why these. Okay. That's why these map reworks are so, um, such a necessary and critical thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wish it wasn't necessary. I I, I would rather <laughs> yeah. have. Yeah. <laughs> I would have. Uh, you know, it's just. This is them pretty much, you know, saying that we've messed up, you know, and they need to go back and fix it. It's just at this point, man, I, I would want new maps, you know, over that if I had a choice. But it doesn't seem like that's a choice or an option right now. So this is what we get. And that's that. <laughs>